there are no tensions in South Africa. There are tensions in France. <laughs> There's burning in France. There's never been an SABC that left here and went to France and asked your president what is he going to do with tensions in France. Solve your tensions in France and stop imagining tensions in South Africa. There are no tensions here. You are living an imaginary life. You are imagining things. There are no tensions here. Well, which tensions? <laughs> you come here, you are dreaming during the day. <laughs> there are no tensions in South Africa. About, about the first question, though? For? Uh, the first question, though? Huh? The first question? No, we've never, we've never uh, 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 perpetuated hatred. The a credible institution called South African Human Rights, of all the statements you want to complain about, they said these are not hate speeches. These do not fuel any violence. They might be robust, you might be scared, but that's how democracy is like in South Africa. It's robust. Sometimes we engage each other to a point you think we are even going to attack each other physically. It will not happen. So stop the imagination. But I'm there not is imagining. no tension. There is no, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 indirectly uh, instigating violence. We have been here for five years. We have been speaking the same language. <coughs> there has never been violence. Actually, if anything, we are the ones who go amongst violent communities and diffuse tension, especially between South Africans and fellow African brothers and, and sisters. We are the ones who have done that. Not through press conferences. We have gone into those communities, addressed them ourselves directly. So you are imagining a tension between black and white communities caused by EFF. It's not true. The tension that is there is an inequality uh, which exists in South Africa. It can only be resolved by not uh, EFF keeping quiet. No, it will be resolved by sharing the wealth. Yeah, speak yeah. because yeah. you've got that. Uh, no, so you, you think that it was uh, my point. What, what I'm asking is that. <laughs> yeah. What I'm telling you is that, uh, according to some people, there are people who claim that you have been feeling tensions. That was my question. I'm not coming here and saying this yeah, is the state of the country. But, but, I'm asking you how you but, respond but, to, to but those if, who believe if, that. But if you start, if you say some people, and <coughs> I don't know them, you mm. don't mention their names. The only reasonable conclusion I can come to is that you are imagining things. Including those if, if it's not you, the people you are with, you, you have a collective dreaming of things that do not exist. There are no tensions, my brother. Yeah, I'm not you making those leave, claims mine. You can leave your cameras here and walk the township and walk the cities. You will never find that attitude. Our people will engage you and tell you of the problems of inequality that mm -hmm. we're experiencing in this country. That is the biggest problem. The problem of whiteness. The problem of white superiority, mm -hmm. which think it's untouchable and anyone that threatens its comfort, it's an enemy and must be projected as a monster. And we're not worried about that. We are making the comfortable to feel uncomfortable. And we are making the uncomfortable to feel comfortable and have hope that tomorrow will be better than today. We don't apologize about that. We want equality. We want white supremacy collapsed in South Africa. We want an equal society. If that is fueling tensions, I'm happy to fuel tensions. Thank you. Now, the land question will not be difficult to deal with in Parliament. The ANC has got a resolution that says land must be expropriated without compensation. We are going to push it. Cyril must oppose it because he wants to impress foreign investment. He wants to impress, impress his friends. Cyril is going to have a problem, and I say this for the second time. He deviates from the ANC policy. He is going to give his enemies a weapon to destroy him in the National General Council uh, when it comes in June. Yes, June uh, 
halfway uh, to the next conference. Because there is a plan to remove Cyril. He can deny it anyhow he so wish. He knows the truth is that he's going to be removed. He won't finish his term. Whereas he has reduced AMC votes. You can praise him because you think you, you are defending him. Ah, ah, he received <coughs> AMC vote. A darling of a daily mobbering. <laughs> a darling of News 24. A darling of Sane has reduced ANC votes. 57%. The man has costed the ANC. Worse than what Zuma did to the ANC. Worse. He will still have to answer for that. He will have to answer for that. So the faction against him is well oiled, ready to attack. The cabinet, he goes around saying he's going to reduce cabinet. Good for all of us, good for South Africans, but not good for him and his factions in the ANC. They will not allow that. It's not only reducing cabinet. Cyril is caught between a rock and a hard place. Because after reducing cabinet, he has to bring credible people. The Women's League has already made a pronouncement that <coughs> Batabide must come back. If Batabide comes back, it's clear. Cyril has not done anything. It's not a new dawn. It's an old Vaseline. <laughs> so, there's a problem. The, the man is in crisis. Oppenheimers won't help him with that. The Rupert won't help him with that. News 24 won't help him with that. They won't help him with factionalism. The man is in crisis. We'll see how he's going.